guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl hypnotic lady and i am back with another hair video today i will be doing a review on this look right here y'all y'all i got so much tea on this hair y'all filming this video was a difficult process because this is my second not first second time filming this i filmed um an in-depth detailed tutorial on how i plucked this wig how i bleached my knots on this wig me styling the wig me laying down my baby hairs and y'all tell me why at when i'm going to add um my shit on youtube my my shit's not acting up like my shit's not working like um was trying to clear space up on my phone so i um cleaned out my recently deleted where that shit was and when i went to go back and try to upload it of course you know it was saying icloud is down attempting to download these files or videos da, 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 da. so i couldn't look at my video i couldn't edit my video no more and i couldn't fucking upload it or nothing and y'all i literally wanted to fucking cry but Getting right into the video, the company I will be working with today is Ali Pearl Hair. This is their box and what it says, super cute, super cute. Got all the care and instructions and shit on the back. Inside, of course, it came with a wig cap, complimentary two-piece. It also came with this cute little Ali Pearl. Ali Pearl silk drawstring bag that you can put your wig in when you get through with it, sis. Super, super cute. Of course, it came with the bag where the wig was actually in, and it has the lengths posted at the bottom. It is 24 inches. Of course, it came with a little white paper inside and the little black net. And then it also came with um, a brochure on how to wash your wigs, tips and tricks on how to take care of it. And then of course it has like a little brochure, Ali Pearl hair on top. Super cute. Y'all, the tea on this hair is real. Like I said, I filmed everything um, and I lost all my damn footage like a dumbass, but we still gonna make it work. Now, Y'all, when I bleached the knots, I did bleach them in the microwave. All I used was um, 40 developer and my BW2 powder. I put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then um, rinse the hair out and then use some purple shampoo to tone the roots. Um, when you do the microwave method, I do suggest you taking out your metal combs because you know you don't want your kitchen to burn down. But yeah. So the knots bleach, very nice, y'all. I really did um, a spectacular job, which is why I'm so sad I lost my footage. <laughs> because I really wanted y'all to see, y'all, like, this was the bomb-ass install. The hair is bomb. Everything is bomb. Like, this is the hair in um, its natural state. It's dry. There isn't any product in here, but literally just a spray bottle. And, um, and this curl mousse right here. I didn't put anything else in there. Um, and y'all, like I said, I love this hair. It's super full, super thick, super cute, super flowy. Um, I didn't get any, um, tangling or, or, um, matting up or anything like that. Other than, you know, when I, of course I originally decided to detangle the hair. While I was detangling the hair with, um, like I said, my spray bottle and my brush, I got like some minimal shedding. Um, but other than that, I got no tangles, no snags, no nothing like that. Um, I do expect a little bit of shedding with any type of curly, deep wave, loose wave hair like that, just because of the texture. I don't know. I just feel like when you have hair that's kind of coarse and, you know, got a lot of shit going on in it, I expect a little, you know, shedding or whatever. It's not crazy, but like I said, it's not nothing that I didn't expect. Um... This is a 370 lace wig. So um, it is actually like the parting space actually goes all the way to like right here, but I only have my part like right here. Um, so yeah, you got like two more inches of parting space. You can do um, deep side parts for sure with this unit going all the way down if you wanted to. I just wanna show you guys like it's very versatile 
And y'all, again, I did go in and bleach the knots and stuff and plug the hairline on camera, but I lost all the footage. So yeah, I have worn this hair. It's been a couple of hours now. Now I'm starting to touch it and stuff. It's getting back big and poofy. Um, that would be one of the cons, I would say, of the hair. Um, if you keep running your fingers through it and stuff, the hair will get bigger, but it doesn't look bad. Like I said, this is what it looks like when it's dry. Um, and then I only have water and a little bit of curling mousse um, in it. And like I said, I have been running my fingers and stuff through it. So it has gotten like a little bit bigger. Um, this is what the back of the wig looks like. Super full, super cute. Y'all, I really like this hair. Now, I wanted to show you guys because I know people like to ask what does it look like when it's wet and what does it look like when it's dry. I'm going to leave one side um, dry, of course, and then I'm going to wet one side and show you guys the difference so you guys can see. Again, like I said, there's nothing in this spray bottle but water. I didn't put anything else um, in this hair. I like to keep minimal products in um, my weave just because, you know, you don't want any heavy products in your hair making it look heavy or um being stiff you know but yeah so just going to spray this so i can show you guys what it looks like wet. and i'm going to take my petal brush and see like i said you are getting some snags but then like after a few seconds it slides through like butter like slides through the hair like butter and it looks so pretty wet too i know some people um don't prefer to have that wet look um if you wanted to do both you could um this is the dry side like i said and this is the length it is 24 inches y'all and one thing i can't say about ellie pearl they did this with um their curly hair is actually true the length you know how usually curly hair is shrunk it's fuck and it doesn't really look like it's 24 inches as to where this one definitely you can tell is 24 inches whether it's dry or wet so this is the dry side and then stretch out on me on me it comes to my waist not even stretched out it comes to my waist and then this is it wet and stretched out it comes a little bit past my waist and then me just leaving it like this wet look it comes directly to my waist so the ends are about the same length wet and dry which is which is good and then like I said this is what it looks like when the hair is wet and then this is what it looks like when it dries I am going to put a little bit of water on this side since I've been touching it and I want to tone it down a little bit you know you don't want that whole Diana Ross Diana Ross look that big big hair yeah so just going to brush that and tone it down just a little bit And this is what the hair looks like wet. Y'all, again, like I said, I would give this hair a 10 out of 10. Overall, I love this hair. It's super, super thick. You can't see through it at all, y'all. Like, you can't see through this hair at all. And then for this to be deep wave hair, um, you can run your fingers through it, no problem. Run your brush through it with no problem. But like, do you guys see how thick it is? It's 180 density. And I like how the curl pattern comes all the way up to the roots. You don't have no straight hair at the uh, top of your wig and then have your curls coming down. Like I said, here's some hair 
from the shedding part. Um, like I said, it is shedding just a little bit. But other than that, I have no problem with this wig at all, y'all. Um, to lay my wig down, I used Got To Be Glued. I didn't use any um, actual adhesive or any lace tape. I wanted something quick and easy. Um, so yeah. And again, guys, this is Ali Pearl Hair. This is their 370 lace wig. So there is lace all the way around. You can wear it in high ponytails, um, high pigtails or buns, whichever one you prefer. Um, I don't have the back sewn down or anything because I don't really wear my hair in ponytails. So it really didn't matter. But yeah, this is their Deep Wave 370 lace wig. It is 180 density and it did come with um, the 13 by six or 13 by seven parting space um, up front. And then you have the 360 lace going all the way around. Um, again, you can purchase this hair at AlliePearlHair.com. Um, you can also follow them on Instagram and all other social medias at AlliePearl underscore hair. So yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know I did. And I'm so, so sorry, y'all, about the footage that I lost, y'all. Like, you and me both, we were really, like, I was excited. I was excited for you guys to see the footage. I know y'all was excited to see the footage because when I posted on my Instagram, like, y'all went dumb. Y'all went stupid over this look. So, again, I just want to apologize really bad. I'm so sorry. My dumb self. I deleted the damn footage on how I got this look. I promise y'all it won't happen again. <laughs> I promise. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.